Welcome back to the channel lads. Um, straight on with the decalin, as you can see. I had no end of trouble with these decals. Um, please talk to me about this in the comments below. If you've any experience on wing that wings decals, please tell me it wasn't me. Um, they were bloody awful, uh, in a word. Easily the worst decals I've ever used. Um, I mean, look at this stripe looks okay here. You know, goes down relatively uh, normal. I thought it was relatively okay. I thought okay, not too bad at all. And then just smoothing it out, smoothly getting all the bubbles out as you do, and there you go, straight away. Look. Now I thought okay, that might be me. Well, let's carry on. But it was nearly every decal I used. Well, I say nearly every decal. Most of the decals I had trouble with. Um, if they didn't break up on, on the sheet, they broke up on the kit. Um, I'm not using any gloss here, by the way. This is straight on to paint, but that's okay because um, you don't need to use a gloss. <laughs> no, we're not going to bring that up. But this is MLP, so the, the finish is pretty smooth as it is. Um, so there's no real need to put any more uh, uh, gloss or anything on it because it gives it because they because they dry it on a, a nice, on a nice satin uh, finish, so there's no need. Uh, so number four uh, was probably uh, the fuselage decals weren't too bad. This number four was probably about the best one. <laughs> and that's the best as I can say for it. And even that I had trouble with. Um, just manipulating this into position. <clears throat> Excuse me. Not too bad, this one. Uh, you'll see when we get to the roundels, um, uh, just, how, just how bad it was. So managed just to where that stripe had broken off and you, you can't see where I've repaired it so I thought oh, I got away with that one but here look you know, the, the round on there break break it it broke up on the um, on the decal paper so I thought hello I'm in for it here um, and it just went from bad to worse in fact it was that bad <laughs> It was that bad that the the poor old thing never made the end. I'm going to be honest with you. Um, uh, it nearly went in the bin. But even that you can deal with when they break up into um, like that. You can deal with it. it's when you they break up into little pieces. It, it, it gets right on your. So to try and help myself, give myself a bit of a chance, I um, laid down a good coat, well I thought it was a good coat, of um, aqua gloss to try and help us out, to seal it all in. Uh, all the decal, on every decal that was put down. But we got some wrinkling, oh what's all that about? I've never had that before in any of the decals I've ever used uh, aqua gloss obviously which is an acrylic product, making them wrinkle. In the end, um, it wasn't, it, they, they, they did settle down, but, oh, what, what next? So what I'm doing here, I'm masking off with the, the vinyl tape from Tamiya, which is a real low-tack tape. If you've got it, you'll know what I mean. 
a masking off the ribs so we can spray in between the ribs to get that uh, dirty effect of the ribs poking through the um, uh, through the through the um, dope uh, and there you get that look you see just at the end of my tether so I, I've managed to find a decal I had one decal left or that was anything close to the rounder that, that was broken so I managed to cut a section out um, and then use that to try and fill in the section I've cut out just not good not good in the slightest uh, it doesn't look so bad there but there's a horrible step to it you can see it there look oh it's just awful so from here on in it was a, it's just a case of survival really uh, will this kit really make it or will I just give up the, the white edge to the round law I had to uh, paint in with a paintbrush which isn't as you can see there look which isn't brilliant now to get that ribbon which I've got here see whether the ribs on the right hand side are shaded and the left they're not so what I've decided to do was use a bit of plaster card um, and then to mask off individual ribs just on the edge of the on one side of it and then spray gently uh, just to that edge that the that the plastic cards uh, masked it's fine you can do it this way um, if you wanted a quick job you would do it this way but I wanted to mask them off nicely but as there's no way that was ever going to happen um, so we do it this way instead and in the end it wasn't too bad it wasn't that bad at all it's not how I wanted it to look and it's not how I wanted to do it uh, but it's how I had to do it in the end um, see this way it's difficult to gauge your spraying uh, attitude like you, you, your discipline on getting into you know getting the same amount of uh, dirt in the ribs it's, it's hard to um, hard to gauge that really uh, you'll see underneath um, it goes a bit heavy and it flicks over in a minute um, but you know it is what it is that's the, the kind of look you get after that it's not too bad but you see underneath it's a little bit heavy so final assembly so this is it all coming together now this is the uh, the struts for the wings I was thinking what else can go wrong now lots <laughs> so um, in the past when I built the the ICM Gladiator uh, which obviously is a biplane as well I've had to use the top the, the top wing as a kind of guide to let the the struts when they go off to keep them in the right place but with a wing that wins get there was no need for any of that they just pop into place and they stay where they are and in that perfect position so that is a bit of that um, wing nut wings magic it, it actually does work doing a bit of rigging here I didn't show hardly any of the rigging because uh, it's really uh, hard to film as you can imagine um, suffice to say I'm just using uh, super glue um, and a kicker where needed just applied with a little bit of a brush not sprayed on um, and in the end it, it, it didn't go too badly that you always get a couple that don't want to play ball that, that, that are a bit of a pain that one there was a bit of a pain in the end but um, managed to do it uh, you can see here we can uh, this is a bit the only thing I've ever showed really this one uh, this goes on nicely there just with a bit of super glue there's no right or wrong way I don't think with uh, rigging whether you do the bot bottom wing first or the top wing first I think it's a case of how you feel at the time 
personally. And I don't do enough of this to have to give you the best advice. Now this is a bit of a scary moment, you know, is it all going to match up? Is it all going to line up? So starting with the cabane struts first, get them into position and glued in. Uh, it was a little bit delicate. You can see the rigging wires at the top there, the bottom of the, uh, of the, the on the bottom wing there that have, I've got them out of the way and using a bit of white tack just to just to keep them out of the working area of <laughs> obviously avoiding the <laughs> avoiding using white tack on the um on the decals because you know what would happen there so just glued in the wing struts it, it was a bit scary but Actually, it was fine. So I'm just using this little container uh, just to set up the, um, just to align the wings so there's no uh, danger of them uh, being out of line. That was left ooh, for a couple of days just to give as much chance as we can. And then coming on to fit, fitting the guns here, they were go, went in quite nicely. With the kit gun to look, they're, they're all right. Not too bad at all. I did think, to be honest, that they were going to be PE, but as it happens, they're um, just plastic, and actually, they're pretty good. And then the engine. Uh, I haven't showed any of the engine, unfortunately, um, but there it is. All kit. Really nice. And the way it all fits together, it spins like a dream. separate hubs to the tyres so the, the hubs were sprayed uh, separately there is a decal uh, for the uh, for the manufacturer's uh, name on the tyre yeah but it just broke up I couldn't use it I did try and uh, dry brush the the, the maker's name because they're raised. I did try and dry brush it to bring them out, but I don't. It didn't come out particularly well. Um, like I say, I tried the decal, but it just broke up into into a few into a few pieces, and I gave up. <laughs> That's going to be honest. Can't beat it around the bush. It's a lovely, lovely kit, but. The decals to spoil it. Um, like I say, if anyone's got any experience on them, uh, please let me know. Um, I'm really dubious about using using them again on the, on the other couple of the wing nut kits that I've got. You're really not confident uh, that they'll make it. So just coming on to the, we're coming into our final stages here. So just a little bit of uh, weathering, not too much. Just a little panel line wash, uh, just around the, um, just on the fuselage here. Uh, not too much. Uh, I'm not quite sure biplanes would be around that long to get, uh, to get that mucky anyway. Uh, a little bit of a wash on the um, the boss of the propeller and 
some round the wheel or both wheels I should say um, I did actually after all this um, put a bit of pigment on the on the wheels but uh, I didn't show it because basically I forgot <laughs> I forgot to uh, uh, to press record <laughs> usual typical type of thing So just finally here, just put in some uh, some of the castor oil staining underneath. Um, and the diffuser large. I think if you look, I might even ping off one of the um, one of the rigging wires. I think that pings off in a minute. So this is it. This is just coming to the end now. So um, if you like what you see, please give us a like, subscribe, all that. You know, usual old guff. You know what to do. Share the video if you fancy showing your mates for a laugh. Um, I will going to see you on the next one when, whenever that will be. Um, I might have a couple of um, kit reviews to do. Uh, I might do that just to change it up a little bit. Bit of splattering, mud splattering. That's a nice technique that is. So I'm going to leave it with you chaps, um, happy modelling, keep safe and I will see you um, on the next one. Okay guys, I'll see you later.